Next, you want to have your description, and inside the description, you want to try to incorporate your keyword phrase where it makes sense and put a one or two sentence that entices people to go to your website or offer. So, as an example here, we're just going to stick with the Tulsa, Oklahoma chiropractors example. If you were to say, you know, Tulsa, Oklahoma chiropractors, and you were going to use that as an, you know, your keyword phrase, so you would create a story called Tulsa, Oklahoma chiropractors. Uh, if that was your website, that's what you would submit. Tulsa, Oklahoma chiropractors, and you would say, you know, get your spine aligned uh, with this powerful, um, you know, with this recognized whatever, um, Tulsa, Oklahoma chiropractor, you know, as an example. And so that's what you're going to, how you're going to submit to these social sites. And then they ask, usually after you've done your title and your description, they'll ask for a link. So you just plug in your link. And then if they ask for tags, it will plug in the tags. Well, the great thing with these two tools is they will automate this process. Now, the first time you do this, I'm going to warn you, it will take some time because you have to go in and set up these accounts. There's about 20 social bookmarking sites with only wire.com that you'll want to set up. And there's like 50 or so sites with social marking. Now, you don't need to set up all the accounts with socialmarking.com if you don't want to. Um, but you will want to at least set up the ones on OnlyWire because that one will automatically do the submissions. And I'll show you how how to utilize that because that's a very powerful tool and so in this step once you've chosen your targeted buyer keyword phrase and obviously you have your website ready to go so it can get traffic you are going to go to onlywire.com and after you've set up your account you will go ahead and bookmark your site at least all the sites on onlywire.com that'll get you out there to about 15 to 20 or so websites on high traffic sites and that's going to start uh, the ball rolling and getting you some traffic and that's also going to help the search engines possibly go and see if you change things on your site or sometimes it will help them pick up your site if it's brand new um, using this step alone and that will help you get your site indexed faster which means it comes up faster and higher in the search engines the next thing you're going to do is ping your website using pingomatic.com. So you're going to go to www.pingomatic.com and it's going to ask you to insert your blog. And if you're actually doing just a standard HTML website, it would just be your main URL. So if it's just a squeeze page, for example, it would just be your main URL that you are sending them to. And for those who aren't aware, you know, squeeze page is a form where you have it set up to squeeze information out of people. So you you're gathering names and emails, and that's an important strategy um, so you know let's say again that you have you know a physical you know uh, an offline business or even an online business you set up your website you're going to go to www.pingomatic.com and you will just follow their little basic steps fill in their form put in your URL where it says blog information and then you're off to the races now you can skip this step if you're actually using WordPress because by default WordPress will do a ping to Pingomatic and what ping Pingomatic does is it helps the search engines pick up all of the pages of um, help search engine pick up your site and pick up uh, help start the process of picking up pages of content within your website and so that's important because you want your site to be found uh, within the search engines and pinging will help do that sometimes and it also just kind of helps notify other directories that you have done something you know with your blog and potentially you can get some traffic that way but at least the most important factor I've seen is that it can assist in getting your site indexed the next thing you're going to do is go to www.blogger.com and you're going to create a blog and link to your website inside the first post on that blog. So for this step, you go to blogger.com and you set up your account and to set up your account, you just use your Google account information. And so you're just going to go ahead and set up your blogger.com account. Um, you know, if you already have Google Analytics, Google AdSense, Google AdWords, um, you know, Google Gmail, any kind of Google account, you already have what you need to sign up for blogger.com. And if you don't, you can just set up your own uh, Google account and they will step you through the process of getting set up with Blogger. And so once you're set up, you just follow the instructions to get your blog set up. And again, we're going to have a video showing you how to set this up properly. Uh, but during that process, you're going to be asked to name your blog. And it's very important that you name your blogger blog the main keyword phrase, you know, in the dot blogspot.com because that's how it's going to come come up. It's going to ask you for what name you want to use. So for this example, I would I would use Tulsa, Oklahoma chiropractors 
dot blogspot dot com because Tulsa Oklahoma Chiropractors is my main keyword phrase. So it'd be Tulsa Oklahoma Chiropractors all run together dot blogspot dot com and you'll see that on that form when you're filling it out. Now in the title of your blog, you obviously again use your keyword phrase uh, where it's going to ask you to name your blog or title your blog. You put in your main keyword phrase there. And what that's going to accomplish for you is, you know, it's get your get your keyword phrase in the right spot so the search engines can pick up your blogger blog and it also helps um, you know basically tell the search engines that the content on that site is going to be relevant for that topic and that will not only help that site come up in the search engines but it also is going to help uh, give that link that you're going to be sending to your website because inside that first post on your blogger blog which all it needs to be is a short article about 200 250 words uh, talking about your your niche your keyword phrase you know so obviously if you're a chiropractor you might talk tell a little bit story about uh, Tulsa Oklahoma chiropractors if you are a lawyer in Chicago you might um, you know write some information about being a lawyer in Chicago and um, you know whatever the case might be uh, you know you can put that information in your first post and inside that first post you want to send a link over to your website inside that blogger.com blog post